Hi guys, it's Amelia here from nurtureandshine.com. I thought I'd do another um, video blog today. Um, this one is something that's come up for me this week. Um, I was quite down about it um, at the start of the week, to be honest. I'm feeling really overwhelmed with time and the lack of of it and I don't think it's just me as a mum that has lack of time I think everyone kind of feels that whatever you're doing we all want more time and it's funny that I'm actually doing the video log today because I find it easier to quickly kind of talk than kind of when I'm typing I kind of think about it and overthink it and rewrite and things like that and now the kids are asleep or one's at kinder and one's asleep and you can hear this um, his music in the background but that'll stop soon Anyway, yeah, it's so time. Um, feeling, yeah, overwhelmed with things. I'm about to start studying next month properly, getting into my course. Um, then working part-time and having the kids and running a house and just all of this stuff that kind of wondering how on earth am I going to do it. And I think I, I personally get into the mentality of I have to be everything for everyone every day and I have this you know to-do list of things that I want to get done in the day or the week or the month and I feel like I have to do them all at once and you know as soon as um, the kids are asleep I'm like right I've got to do some work I've got to write a blog post I also want to watch catch up on that show I was watching I also want to finish the chapter of that book I need to have lunch and I wouldn't mind having a nap and yeah, because I can fit all that in in an hour easily. Um, and I end up spending, you know, this time as just this rush, rush. And I, it's kind of not, I'm not being productive with my time, I don't think, because I'm kind of moving from one thing to the next and going here and there. Whereas I think if I focus on one thing, um, I'll, I'll be far more productive. So I kind of sat down this morning and had a think about how I can, you know, work um, work it all out and and have it work so I don't feel overwhelmed, basically. Um, and the first thing I came up with is to be gentle, and and I think this goes for so many areas of your life um, when you're starting to look after your body or um, you're taking on anything new or how you treat yourself or anything. I think one of the key things that people need to do in all areas of their life is be gentle with themselves. Um, don't expect so much as well that, as I said, I'm only one person and I can't be everything to everybody every single day. Um, and I need to look after myself as well. And I kind of sat down and wrote a bit of a plan of what do I, what are kind of the non-negotiables of my day for me? And meditation and some little form of exercise, a little walk, yoga stretch, whatever, that's kind of, for me, a non-negotiable of the day. Um, and then I did a non-negotiable of the week. And that is a, a yoga class every week and some time on my own, like an hour or whatever, once a week, time, quiet time, <laughs> mummy time. Um, and then I worked, you know, worked out what it is work-wise I have to do every week, what cleaning stuff you need to do every week and how I can, I can fit it all in. And I've set out, I'm, I'm trying not to be too like rigid and regimented about it, but I'm kind of set out a bit of a plan. And I think now in my, after setting, sitting down and writing all this out, I kind of thought in my head, I've worked out that I don't have to do it all every day. And I also wrote down, sorry, a list um, of things, tasks kind of that I've been wanting to do, but they've kind of fallen, fallen backwards on to the back like I want to finish reading this book which I was spirit junkie which I have started like over a month ago now I'm so close to the end but I just keep getting distracted that's I want to finish that I want to finish um sewing this blanket for my daughter 
I would like to finish uh, rearranging around our bedroom. And I think finishing a task is also really important to me that once it's that sense of accomplishment, whereas if I've got all these things on my list, no wonder I'm getting overwhelmed because I'm not completing any. So it's focus, um, focusing my time and making sure I do, you know, do finish something that I'd like as well, not just, you know, the normal, normal tasks. And also having non-negotiable time for myself every week because that, without a doubt, makes me more productive uh, with my work. I'm a better mum. I'm a better wife. I'm all round rosier person <laughs> when I get that time to myself. And I think everyone's like that. And I think everyone deserves that time to themselves as well. I mean, you know, we spend so much of our time, be it at work, um, learning at home for other people um you deserve you deserve it you really do so that's kind of where my head is at at the moment um and i think yeah what i've learned from it is plan, plan it and not expect to do everything get out of my head again and not expect to do everything every day i don't have to sit down and read and do work and clean in in this hour block just focus on the task and the one thing I've got to do and I don't have to do everything every day and yeah so um if you're feeling overwhelmed just sit down and take some time to write out what what it is you want from you know what you want from your week from your day from your month and um, what are the non-negotiables and how you can kind of fit it all in in a, in a steady and gentle way. Um, yeah, my other non-negotiable as well is we are, um, I'm trying to steer clear very much of um, being chained to a computer because my, our computer, as you can see, is in our living room. So I am... It's always there. I'm like, oh, just better go check that or I'll just check that. I've, and I need to, you know, be in the present moment a lot more as well. So that is my ramble <laughs> for today. And I've gone on for too long now. Um, I probably should have saved you all the pain and written this down in a more thought out blog post instead. But today you get to see me. Anyway. Thank you for listening and um, yeah, if you're feeling overwhelmed or anything, it's okay. And, and that's the other thing as well, just really quickly, that it's okay to have those days where it does feel, oh my God, I'm snowed under. I have all this weight on top of me. It's all right. Like on days like that, that's kind of the day that you do nothing. That's when you, you know, your body's telling you, your mind's telling you it's time to slow down and you know spend some time on yourself so yes that's me for today i hope you're all well um thank you so much as well for all the beautiful support of the blog so far um and don't forget to sign up to the newsletter it's somewhere on the side i don't know which way i'm pointing um because there'll be some i'm sending out my first one this week and there'll be some um special things on there so thank you all so much Hope you're having a beautiful week and speak to you soon. Bye.